Hello everyone, this is Jarena here again, follower of the way. And today I want to talk about the topic of being sexy or being beautiful. All right. I want to talk to us ladies about this. And I, what I want to do is I want to encourage us to be mindful of how we present ourselves in this world. All right. We're going to go over two videos. I'm sure everyone has heard about um, Kiki Palmer and what she had on here recently. And then everyone heard about Sierra, what she wore. Now I want to say this because I know a lot of people may be thinking, listen, these are grown women. All right. They should be able to do whatever they want to do. And maybe some people may look at us believers, us Christians, that, you know, we seem to always, it appears that we seem to always have something to say about what somebody else is doing. That's not what we're doing. And we're not trying to get in grown folks business per se. What we're doing is, is that we are ambassadors of Christ. So what we do is we share the word of God. All right. We point at, we point to scripture to address everything in life. Okay. So just like how these two ladies just displayed themselves and did whatever they want to do. Well, us believers, what we do is we talk about the word of God. We encourage people to follow Christ. We encourage individuals to surrender to the Lord's design of things. That's what we do. So today, like I said, I want to encourage us ladies, let us stop disrespecting ourselves. Let us stop dishonoring ourselves. If we would just honor the one who created us, then we would honor ourselves. If we have a respect for the word of God, then we would honor respect ourselves. Okay. I want to encourage us to stop exploiting ourselves. Women have been exploited enough. We already have, we have this fallen world, right? So there's a gang of sinners here. Okay. So we see that fallen men have already, and they continue to try to exploit us women. Let's not feed into that. Let's not be willing to be brought into bondage, into captivity, into this, this world of lust. Okay. Let's not do that. So I want to talk about this thing right here. What is the standard that us ladies should live by in presenting ourselves in this world? What should we be concerned about? Should we simply be concerned about getting attention, showing off our bodies? You know, some of us ladies, we've had children and things like that. And maybe you've got your body together. And you want to show it off to the world. Should we really do that? Is, is that, is that where, where our motivations should be as far as getting attention from people and, and letting people know that, that we got it together? Is that how we should live? Now, listen, I understand that people of the world, those people that just live for themselves, you may not understand what I'm saying right now, but I want to encourage you to take a moment to think about something. You were created by a higher power who is the Lord. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to scripture and I'm going to talk about what the Lord's design is and what he is uh, calling us to be as women. All right. According to his design. Okay. So we're going to look at two videos. Like I said, um, Kiki Palmer and Sierra, I'm sure everybody already saw this and heard about it, but let's just examine this and let's look at scripture and see what the Lord says we should do. We should be as women. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and we are going to look at Kiki Palmer here. All right. So let's look at this here. You see what she has on. This silhouette kind of uh, garment that she has on. And then she's going to turn around and show her whole body and all that. But we're not going to even wait for that. We'll stop for a minute here. And I'll stop sharing. All right. So then we saw that. So now we're going to take a look at Sierra and what she had on. Okay. I'm going to share my screen again. She's standing here with her husband. Okay. All right. And her bottom was all out as well. Okay. So we're going to stop sharing. 
All right. So that was a bit much, wasn't it? Now, now let's, let's be honest about this. That was a bit much. All right. Now I want to go to now what, what, what we, what we just saw here was a display of their sexuality, they, like not, not their sexuality, but their, their sexiness and sensuality, I would say. Okay. Uh, I guess their sexuality as well as them being women, but it was a display of sensuality and sexiness. Okay. Of which that could have been reserved for their husband. That's what that should have been reserved for. Because now listen, in the word of God, it says that the, um, marriage bed is undefiled. This is where the Lord has factored in the whole intimacy. He has placed that within the confines of marriage, not for uh, us to be like animals, right? And just be out here, whatever that that's not the way he designed it. So here's the thing. Sin is how the Lord has made intimacy, sexual intimacy for a man and a woman within the confines of their marriage. Then we should not be displaying, freely displaying sensuality, sexiness, just for the world to see. Because what happens is we then, we um, encourage men to lust after us. We encourage men to uh, have these thoughts about us. And I want to say this, I do understand that you could be looking regular, right? And some man could be lusting after you. I get that. But what we don't want to do as women, we don't want to feed into that. We don't want to be instruments of that. Do you see? Because that is not the Lord's design. Now, let's look at scripture because the Lord talks about sensuality and things like that. Let's look at Colossians chapter uh, three, verse five, and we're going to see what the world, this is, this is a picture of what the world does. Now, let's look at this. Now, uh, verse five, it, the Lord, this is what the Lord tells us to do. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you. Okay. What is earthly in you? He said to put it to death, sexual immorality, impurity, uh, passion, passion, evil desire and covetousness, which is idolatry. Okay. So now think about this. Look about the things that, that was stated here, sexual immorality, uh, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness. So what, what we saw here, this right here provokes sexual immorality. It provokes passion. It provokes evil desire because the, it's Sierra, she, she has a whole husband. So somebody could be lusting after her, could want her, but she belongs to somebody else. Do you see what I'm saying? You see, see what, what that type of stuff places us in? Okay. Now remember the heart of man of humanity is desperately wicked. Okay. So we must seek the face of God to help us to surrender all of that. All right. To let, let go of all of that, of that, that earthly, worldly type of behavior, fleshly behavior, and surrender to him, to his design. Okay. And then it talks about that is covetousness. So like I said, someone lusting after Sierra, she doesn't belong to them. She belongs to her husband. You see that? So then you provoke covetousness in somebody else. All right. And, and then even on the other side, because she's provoking some other man, you know, to, to long after her that way, that man could belong to somebody else. He could be somebody else's wife. Do you see that? So both ways you're, you're, you're promoting, when we do stuff like this, we are promoting sensuality. All right. We are encouraging that type of behavior from others. Do you see what I'm saying? And all because we have our stuff at the center, all because we want some attention, all because we want to show out and show off. You see that? Now there's another scripture where it talks about self-indulgence. Okay. So let's, let's look at what, what the Lord says about that. And I believe that that is in um, Timothy chapter five. So let's see. First Timothy chapter five. Hmm, and I thought I had that marked here. Okay. So first Timothy chapter five, verse six. Now, and this is talking about a foolish woman. All right. So just let's look and look at this verse here. But she who is self-indulgent is dead even while she lives. Do you see that? 
You see? So when you're full of yourself, when, when you're full of um, feeding into your flesh, you understand what I'm saying? You're under bondage. You're dead in, in, in that sinful desire. You see that? You're dead in that. You're, you're not alive. You're not free when, when, when you behave that way. This is not the way the Lord wants us to be. Okay? Now, let's look at another scripture because I just said that when we do things like this, we're trying to get attention. We're trying to show out. And at the heart of it is pride. Pride is on display here, big time. Okay? You're full of yourself. All right? Now, I get it. Maybe you work out, you've taken care of your body, you know, you, you look good and all that good stuff, right? That, that's, that's great. But it is prideful of you to want to display this at any cost, all right? In, in, in disregard how this affects anybody else, how this affects your, your husband, how this affects other people's husbands, you see what I mean? How this affects the, the just humanity of itself. What about children and all that? The, you know, what about how children, they're, they're really influenced. They're, they're like sponges, right? I just don't understand Sierra's children seeing her like this. How is that a good example for them? What, what does that teach them? You see how self-absorbed this is. Do you see what I mean? So, all right. So let's look at first John. Let's go to first John. And this is going to be chapter two, verse 16. All right. Look, look at what the Lord says about about pride here. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of life is not from the father, but is from the world. OK, that's all from the world. It's not from our our father, our Lord, our holy savior. The, the pride of life and all of it is not from him. You see that that's of the world. That's of the evil one. And this is what the Lord says about the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Do you see that? So even all of this prancing around, showing off your body, doing the most, you're getting praise of people that people are like, man, look at you. She got her stuff together. She's tight. Da, da, da. All that business that you're garnering there. Guess what? It's all going to perish. It all fades away. But what lasts forever is who we are in Christ, okay? So I'm just trying to encourage all of us. And like I said, I want to encourage all women, you know, even us believers. I don't, none of us believers, I don't believe would do go to this extreme. But if we're not careful, we, we might could do too much sometimes, stuff that's just not necessary, right? But also, those of you that are not believers, I want you to think about your life and what you're doing how you're displaying yourself. And I want you to understand that God created us and he set a standard for us. Okay. And I want, I encourage you to seek the face of God. Don't just live for yourself. You understand that? Listen, the word of God tells us that beauty is fading. It fades away. Beauty is fleeting. It doesn't last forever. You know, Sierra's body, her look, how she looks, it doesn't last forever. It's going to all fade away. All right. And then the scripture also says that uh, flattery is deceitful. So even all the compliments and all that business, it's it's deceitful. It, where, where is it really coming from? You see that? Even somebody complimenting them on what they're doing, seeing as how this is really a shame and a reproach, where does the flattery really come from in regards to this? You see that? Where, where, where is the uh, heart of that at? It's all rooted in evilness, really. Okay. It, that, that's what it's root, rooted in. All right. Now, let's look at what the Lord says us women should, how, how we should display ourselves. Okay. Now, we just talked about, we looked at all of that, and we can see that the Lord is totally against all of that, okay? And this is, like I said, this this display of, of uh, sexiness, right, should be reserved for your husband, not for everybody to see, okay? It just shouldn't be reserved for everybody to see. And like I said, I know that we live in a world where we live according to our what? Our own truth. Well, you know, if, if this is the way I feel, 
you know, according to my, my philosophy, my experiences, I, I'm cool with it. I feel free about it. You know, I'm happy. It doesn't matter. Guess what? It does matter because you were created by a higher power. Okay. And like I said, that's the God of the entire universe. And he has a design for our lives and it would behoove us to surrender to him. And like I said, it's for our own beauty, it's for our beauty to surrender to our Lord. That this is how we are beautiful by surrendering to the one that created us. All right. So let's look at some scriptures here. So let's go to, let's see, first Timothy. Let's go to first Timothy here. Let's see what first Timothy says about how women should present, how us women should present ourselves. All right. So I thought I had that marked as well, but I guess I don't. So, <laughs> all right. So first Timothy. All right. So verse two, start chapter two, starting with verse nine. Let's see. Now, this is what it reads here. So it says that that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control. We should adorn ourselves in respectable apparel with modesty, shamefaced, and self-control. Self-control. You see that? It's good to be under control, right? It, th that's, that's always good. When, when you see somebody that's out of control, they're doing the most, they're outlandish, they, they have no, no boundaries, no, no guardrails. It's, it's never a good look. It's no good. Okay. So you, you see what the Lord says here? So to be disciplined and self-control, not, not being willing to just, um, you know, go with the flow, so to speak, and just let it all hang out. OK, that's not how us, us women should be. We're not supposed to be that way. OK, we see that. And then we can look at first Peter. And this is chapter three of first Peter. Let's look at what first Peter says here. So now we'll look at verse four. Look at this. The Lord says, let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which in God's sight is very precious. You see that? He's, do you see what the Lord is saying here? Let our adorning be, be the one of the hidden, of, of, the, of the hidden person of the heart with imperishable beauty. Do you see that? The Lord says that that's imperishable beauty. You see? So to adorn ourselves with that, with that which honors God, is imperishable. Now, remember, this earthly beauty fades away, but that beauty doesn't doesn't perish. You see that? So, what I, I just want to encourage us ladies to be mindful about how we present ourselves in this world. Okay, and I, like I said, I'm talking to the saved and the unsaved. Okay, I'm encouraging the, the saved to continue to honor God the way we present ourselves. Okay. And don't even, you know, and be, and be careful to continue to do that. And for those that are unbelievers, I want you to take a moment and think about the fact that you are not your own, that you were created. You, you were, you know, you came here without your, your permission. You see that? So there was a power that made it possible for you to even be alive. You need to acknowledge your Lord. You need to acknowledge the God of the entire universe. And we need to seek him to help us to live according to his design. All right, ladies. Now, I think I mentioned this already. I understand those are people out there, the feminist ladies. I understand that they, they exist. I understand that there's ladies out there that feel like this is liberating with Sierra and, um, Kiki Palmer is, is liberating. You know, it's, it's, you, you get to hear me roar. I'm, I'm a woman. I, I you know, I, I get to express myself and I, I have no, no, you know, I have my own boundaries, my own standards. You see that? Because the thing of it is, is everybody has a standard. Everybody has a boundary, but where are you getting your standard and your boundaries from? Are you getting it from the word of God? Because the word of God lets us know who God is. Scripture lets us know who God is and the scripture lets us know who we are and the scriptures let us know who the Lord is calling us to be. Okay. And by his help, 
by his mercy and his grace, by the Holy Spirit, we can be what the Lord is calling us to be. All right. So if you're one of those ladies that feels like Sierra and Kiki Palmer, they're liberated. They get to um, express themselves. They have no, no, you know, they don't have to worry about, you know, restraints from people. They're, they, they set their, they set the pace for their lives. Okay. Maybe you feel that way. And maybe you think this is freedom, but it's not freedom. That's bondage. It's bondage. We, we just talked about the scriptures here. It's bondage. It's, it's bondage in sin. It's bondage in this world system. That's what that is. It is so wonderful when we honor our Lord. It really is. It's beautiful to honor him. It's beautiful to be beautiful. Okay. And to uh, express your, your womanness, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's beautiful to do that, but it is, it is good for us to be mindful that we are not displaying ourselves in such a way that now we have dishonored what a woman is. You see that we have brought a reproach upon what a woman is. And the Lord has clearly let us know in scripture what a woman is. Now, the Lord also says this, I said this already, actually, that beauty is fleeting, okay? Um, you know, the the compliments, the all of that business is, is deceitful. But the woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. That's the woman that shall be praised. So while these people may get applauded by the way they were dressing and all that type of stuff, all of that is a lie. It's a lie. Praise, true praise, comes from honoring our Lord. It comes from respecting him and acknowledging him and submitting to his design. Okay, ladies? So I just wanted to take out a few minutes to encourage us to be mindful, not to exploit ourselves in these streets, okay? You know what? A man that is attracted to you all because of your body He's not going to want you, you know, you want somebody to want you, who you are, the woman that you are. You don't want somebody just to want you to sleep with you. Okay. You, you don't want that. And, and furthermore, the whole idea about like just this sexiness, right? You know, it, it, like I said, it provokes that whole intimacy thing. Intimacy is an extremely small, a sexual int intimacy is a very small portion of a relationship. It just really, really is. It's all the other part that really makes the difference. Okay. That's a very small part. So let's not fight for that small part, for the tension of that very small part. Let's not do that ladies. Okay. It's a disgrace to our own selves. All right. Okay. I wanted to share that. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Let me know if you think, well, you're doing too much. You're being religious you, you, you getting in grown folks business, you know, something like that. I want to tell you something. I, I'm not being religious at all. Matter of fact, I don't even like the idea of being religious. I don't like that because what does it matter? It doesn't even mean anything. What means something is when we honor our Lord, genuinely honor him. Okay. That's what means something. So all I'm trying to do is encourage us to honor the one who created us. That is what I'm trying to do. And I'm sick of us being exploited. Ladies, you, you should be sick of it. You should be sick of being seen as just this sex symbol. It's just this, this, you, we should be sick of being objectified, that, that we're this object of, um, you know, to indulge in sexual pleasures. We, we should really get sick of that. You know, we should be over that by now. All right. So let's stop doing this lady. So at any rate, if you have a comment, Leave it in the comments section. I would like to hear from you. If you liked anything that you heard in this video, you know what? I would say, hey, like the video. If you like this video so much and you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, guys. All right. So hope you guys get the point of this video and hopefully this was encouraging. All right. So listen, you know what I always say all the time to continue in him. In who? In Christ alone. God bless.